JBL Flip 2 is the successor to the original Flip and looks pretty much the same, but has improved drastically in performance. So if you are considering a speaker that's priced just over $100 with speakerphone capabilities, then the Flip 2 is worth considering. The cylindrical shape of the Flip 2 would appeal to anybody. It's wrapped in a single color and I have the one in blue, but there are other color options as well. The speakers are covered by a metal grill matching the color of the body and the outer shell now has that matte rubber feel as seen in the JBL Pulse and the JBL Charge. And this really feels good in the hand and is less prone to scratches. It also adds a bit of ruggedness along the edges. In case of a drop, it just feels more assuring. The rubber should be able to withstand an impact. On one side are the controls. They again have that rubberized feel and at the center is the power key. On the two sides are the volume keys and there is the Bluetooth button and the call button right under that to receive and disconnect phone calls. I tried using the flip for a couple of calls and the person on the other side could hear me clearly. Although there was a slight hollowness to my voice, so if it's an important call, you might end up switching to your phone. On the other side of the speaker is the NFC tag. Now this is another big difference compared to the previous generation. So you can pair your NFC enabled device by just tapping on this. Another change is at the back. There is a battery level indicator, an auxiliary port and a micro USB port to charge the flip. Now I think JBL has done a great job by switching to micro USB ports across all their Bluetooth speakers as they are more universal. So you can probably charge the speaker with your smartphone charger. Of course, if you're an iPhone user, you'll still have to lug around the separate charger. I recorded the sound quality of the Flip 2 through the Zoom H4n to give you an idea of how it fills up the room. The speaker was placed two feet away from the recorder and the sound level was kept at 50%. The sound is powered by two separate drivers that are 40mm size and it also has a built-in bass port. And the total output is 12 watt RMS. It's quite impressive how the Flip 2 fills up the room, but maybe not loud enough to throw a party. The JBL Flip is an excellent choice for portability. The sound quality is very impressive for its size. It's not the best sounding Bluetooth speaker out there, but at its price, it's a great proposition. It's got a 2000 mAh battery which churned out roughly 6 hours of battery life, which is pretty standard across Bluetooth speakers. Even though it has a built-in microphone, don't count on it at all times. You might end up switching to your phone on most occasions for better voice quality. Anyway, what do you think of the new JBL Flip 2? Put your thoughts down in the comment section below and if you have any questions about the speakers, feel free to ask, I'll be more than happy to answer them. If you like this video, then be nice, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.